I ain't the lady to mess with. It's a really loyal following. Wrestlers and wrestling fans are, it's a family. Mm -hmm. And um, opening the restaurant, I now I realize that, you know, uh, it's, you know, Monday's Raw, you know, uh, Thursday's Impact Wrestling. I mean, I, this is like people, these are my regulars that come in. Now I, I sit down and eat with them and yell at the screen now. And it's yeah. kind of reignited my passion again, you know. Okay, okay this is um, our third restaurant. My husband's okay. been in the industry since he's 16. So okay. uh, our first restaurant was in Lombard, Illinois. Okay. And that was called Nikki's Red Hots. It was a Greek-based, you know, Italian beef, mm. gyros, and stuff like that. And my bright idea, I fell in love with Miami, and I was like, oh my God, I love Miami, we gotta move there. We sold the restaurant, moved there, okay. just for a year. And then we had another restaurant when we were in Louisville, Kentucky. I was in developmental okay. wrestling school there called OBW. Yeah. And uh, I was there, I lived there for almost eight, nine years. We opened a pizza place, pizzeria there, more New York style. Okay. It's still, we showed wrestling, but it was more mob, mobster theme. And oh, okay. since we moved to Chicago, Chicago, people don't know, what a wrestling town Chicago is. Right. There's a lot of local organizations that, like, you know, the independent wrestling yeah. scene, and it's really huge. You that's our, that's our crowds too with it, the shows. It's, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It is incredible. Like New York and Chicago are crazy, and also the South. You know, yeah. um, it's and also Chicago. They love the bad guys, and yeah. so does New Yorkers. So go figure. What does it say about us people? You know, <laughs> I, I, we just we like to bully people. I don't know, but. Um, this one inspired me. It's just like, let's just go with what I know. We did the mm -hmm. wrestling. We didn't want to shove it down their throat. You know, we wanted memorabilia on the walls. You see on them, you right. know, collectors. I have a, other stuff in the back I need to frame. It's so much work. You know, we've only been open for three and a half months. You know, it's yeah. a lot to do still. And, um, but didn't realize how, you know, it would respond. You know, the customers love it. Yeah. And they, thank you so much for opening something like, so we're not ashamed to watch wrestling. Right. Oh, and yeah. it's, a, it's a closet love, yeah. you know what I mean? People are, I think know, when people, I was here too, like, I mean, I think you sat down with us for like an hour. Like, you, 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 uh, <laughs> I love talking <laughs> about wrestling though, you know, and, and food, right. you know, so. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. it's made for no, I'm here every night. I'm, I'm, I'm here every, every single night, you yeah. know, watching wrestling with the customers and um, getting into it. I'm the, I'm the front of the house, my husband's the back of the house. Okay. He's the chef. So. Oh, okay. He came up with our menu. menu, yeah. Well, tell us a little about the menu. It's like some of the more popular items. Um, our number one seller right now is the Jim Ross Burger, JR oh, from okay. WWE. He called me and said, um, why aren't you carrying my sauce? And I was like, told my husband, he goes, we'll make a burger after him. And um, that's, it used to be the Mac Attack. I think I told you that, the Mac yeah. Attack burger stuffed with Merck's cheese and then to pile with mac macaroni. Had it, was that was our number one until we got the Jim Ross. Okay. Everybody has to have Jim Ross burger and try it out. And um, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a stuffed burger queen. So I'm, I'm, you know, if you're gonna ask me what I recommend, I'm more so a burger person than a pizza person. Okay. You know, but our what makes us stand out about being different about our pizza? We have duck fat. We cook our pizza, our deep dish with duck fat. Okay. And every topping is very unusual. Mm -hmm. And um, thank God, like Lee and I have been, you know, I travel. A lot for my job right so I get to taste different things I'm like oh my god I tried this you know this burger it had you know like car caramelized uh, onion and apples like it was like very unique mm. and I'll tell him and he goes oh we'll try it we'll put stuff together it's so very unusual okay and um everything is handmade we do our dough ourselves mm -hmm. take pride we cut our hand cut fries uh, everything and also we're very local farm friendly um, we don't have a big freezer, so a lot of our f stuff is fresh. Oh, That's okay. why we're here so early every day. Oh, okay. We're getting shipment every day. Yeah. So, what's yeah. your personal my, item favorite? Um, it is my kimchi. It's named after Gail Kim. Okay. It's, you haven't been here since. Gail Kim have, yeah. is my opponent, and she loves sriracha sauce, and it's um, very spicy. I used to call her kimchi in the ring. She used to get so mad, and I was like, <laughs> "What? It's funny. It's cute." And she goes, "That's a fermented." Cabbage. This it's a stinky cabbage, and I told her we need we put kimchi on um, our our burger, mm. and she's like, I'm so flattered. You know that's my personal favorite because I like spicy. Oh, okay. As I said, you know I'm out here in front of the house mm. a lot, and so I ask I go to the tables, how's everything, and you know any feedback. 
So this one's a little bit too salty. I mean, we'll, we'll take that, you know, and go, okay, well, and he'll try it. And he goes, oh, maybe we did put a little bit too much salt in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're very, we, we want to please the customer. And um, in the economy, it's, uh, we've worked on this. It's not like we just opened overnight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So uh, it's a, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into this. You know, um, this is my baby. This is not where they just lend, I lend my face and my, right. my name to it. I'm here, mm-hmm. you know, and um, this is my bread and butter. You know, my my wrestling is my love, yeah. I like to say, you know. So, Monday night is raw, so um, three hour raw, and we have we have drink specials every single day. Okay. And um, Tuesdays, we have old school and dollar beer day, okay. all day, dollar beer. And then, uh, that we, old school meaning we put in old school tapes, okay. and they can watch, like, Bret Hart, okay, match, like, right WWF now. is on right yeah. now, exactly. And the sound is off, so that's why it's so quiet. And um, Wednesday is uh, it. We have WWE main event. It's an hour show, mm. and then wrestling indie night. So we do independent promotions. So we have local wrestlers come in, okay. watch them on TV, and people can get um, a picture with them. You know, eight by ten, or okay. just, you know. And I like to support now. Me, mm. I can give back to the local wrestlers. They're all trying to get to where. Yeah, you know, and, and it actually sounds corny. I feel that I'm giving. You know, they're getting the exposure. We have a podcast that comes out, interviews them, promotes them. They plug in their Twitter, and um, they be plug in when their next show is. So it kind of it's it's helping both of us out, you oh, know. Right. And, and Impact Wrestling Thursday, uh, Friday is SmackDown, and then we do free pay per views, TNA and WWE pay per views. This is what I came up with. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Guilty pleasures under one roof. We got stuffed burgers, pizza, and wrestling. What perfect. more can you ask? That's perfect. Yes, and it is my dream home. <laughs> <laughs> what is yeah. awesome about it? This is what my is my friends being so supportive. Of, you know, when I asked about outfits for my wall, mm-hmm. they were more than sure. happy to, to provide stuff. Okay. And uh, and they come here to visit, and I get to advertise them coming. And I don't I don't pay them for yeah. their appearance. They just want to support me in my my, my business. And um, to get that support in wrestling, you know, there's a saying that you're lucky to walk away with five five friends in wrestling and I'm, I am happy to say that I walked away with way more I mean it, it has become part of my family yeah. and it's it's a shame to say but wrestling does come before your home family mm. you know they say family first it's wrestling first which is your family right. <laughs> which should have been in the blueprint on the, the contract right. your family is wrestling so um, but it's part of my life. I'll never be out of it. Yeah. But now it's like crazy, you know, pay-per-view nights. Like um, it's standing room only in here. And, um, oh, really? I have to, you know, I come in through the back because the front, I'm, and I do my, my, the reason why my voice is out, we had pay-per-view Sunday. Mm-hmm. I do announcements. I need to get a microphone. But I want to get the one that Mr. Anderson brings down <laughs> because I do a lot of ring, and, um, ring announcements, restaurant announcements, yeah. you know, like, hey, don't forget tomorrow night, Rikishi's coming in. Mm-hmm. You know, Alicia Fox surprised me, came in, you know, it's oh, okay. great. Great, great week. Guys, you can always see me every single night here in Chicago at the Squared Circle. You can follow me on Twitter at Tara Lisa Marie or at the SQD Circle, which is our restaurant Twitter, which is also myself. So the Squared Circle or Tara Lisa Marie. I have surprises all the time coming up, um, surprise guests coming up. So that's how you're going to find out. I don't run my web- website myself. So you can follow me there. I'm very social media savvy. So, come in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect.